Hi folks, I'm Felipe Moura and I'm going to introduce you to Power Polygon. Power Polygon is a project that tries to help speakers to give their talk using the web browser as the platform. It's based on HTML, JavaScript and CSS3 to, as the main technologies. This is the first screen you see when you start using the Power Polygon and this is called the splash screen. There are some interesting tools here that may be useful for you, like going full screen, testing your resolution. Let's say you want to see the boundaries of the screen in the projector, or the font size, or colors, etc. Also, I could test the audio, or test my camera, and uh, if my web browser is currently online. This area here is dedicated to add-ons that I am going to explain later. I can also use some settings here, uh, but let's start the presentation first. This is the default dim. So this dim is the is like the default thing you can see, but you can change it a lot and it's very customizable. Actually, it's based in some GIFs and sections, and so it's HTML5 and CSS3 for you to uh, to change it as you will. Also, you could create your own theme or download it uh, or even change one that already exists. And you can also create some transitions for your slides, so you can change how they go from one slide to the other. Um, Power Polygon also offers you some default animations, some internal animations. So you could use, for example, jQuery to animate your elements, but Power Polygon offers you some interesting or more complex animations for you, like bouncing or other effects. So you could use easily do them uh, and they are based in CSS3 animations, so there are some advantages in on using them instead of jQuery. And you can, for of course, go forward or backward in those animations inside your slides. Also you have the toolbar. This toolbar allows you to use some interesting tools like saving as PDF or printing it or you can check the thumbnails version of your talk and you could for example change the size of your of your text or go to a specific slide, open the this tool, this is the presentation tool it will help you to go forward or backward with your slides and also see in which slide you are, or the notes of that current slide, the next slide, or for how long you are talking. Also, I could, for example, search for words in, inside the slides, like welcome. So I can see that there is the word welcome in the first slide. Also, I could uh, toggle the full screen or open my webcam. So by using my webcam, I could, for example, show an app in my mobile phone to the audience. And I could obviously drag it around or resize it as necessary. Another interesting thing here is that I can, for example, specify more than one language for my talk. So I could, for example, go into the settings, change it to Portuguese, and my slide becoming Borges. It's very easy to create. Another interesting thing here is the profiling feature. So I could, let's say, I have faced this uh, situation sometimes, like I have the same talk to give to two different audiences. And imagine that the next slide is full of source code but the audience uh, is not uh, full of programmers, so I could, for example, create a different profile for my talk. And instead of showing that source code, I could use this slide as the next slide. So I can define a different focus for my current talk and easily change it as necessary. And there are also the add-ons. Add-ons allow you to use new things. They can even change the content of your slides or even the structure of Power Polygon. There is one add-on that allows you, for example, to uh, pass the slides using your mobile phone. 
but this add-on here, for example, shows the source code in a better way. And by using it, I could, for example, tell the audience which lines are the most important now, so the audience could follow my thoughts. Also, I could toggle the camera inside my slide using JavaScript. And this is a beta project, so feel free to send your feedback, ideas, report bugs, and if you want to work on it and change the source code, please fork the project on GitHub and let me know of your interest. Thank you.